Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are going to be playing Satisfactory again today. Picking up where we left off, decorating the Sun Streaker Computer Circuit Factory, as well as checking in on some haphazard aluminum production. We'll say it's production. It's sort of just making a few things in the background for us. We've unlocked as far as we can, I think, as far as the tiers go. I think the only thing left is the hazmat suit, which we don't seem to need a whole lot of. But if we do more exploring, looking for summer sloop and mercer spheres, we may want to get that. That's just going to need some more fabric for gas masks and things like that in order to submit those to the hub to unlock that. Uh, that will finish off tier seven, which uh, might be a fun check mark to grab today. Uh, Blast Jordan and Cosmic Dancer are hanging out in the chat. I'm sure other folks will be along shortly. I did start the stream just a little bit earlier today. I had some extra time. I thought, you know, there's normally a, a little bit of time that ticks down in the starting soon screen, and uh, I might as well just give her a, a start early to get things going. Uh, we have the same things to plug as usual. There is, of course, a new episode of the Spawn Trunks podcast out this week. That came out on Monday. That's at the Spawn Trunks on YouTube. And there is also... Uh, a new snapshot that came out for the pale garden biome update the winter drop as they're calling it at mojang uh, so we'll be talking about that on the coming monday show uh, and if you're a member of the spawn chunks patreon then we'll be doing a special hangout this saturday that's just where we hang out with our patrons and talk about what they've been building in minecraft so that's gonna be a lot of fun that's uh not tomorrow but saturday so uh, let's jump in we're coming up on 150 hours in this playthrough which is wild. I really need to start thinking about how I'm going to proceed. If I'm going to proceed with this playthrough, if we're going to go and go back to Devastator, and if I do, what that means, and uh-oh. That was close. I was on the moth when I logged out, and I guess you don't stay on the moth when you uh, log back in. That's good to know. Well, we are right here, which is where I need to be. Looks like everything has stopped. We've got sheets. I'll take those. And I'll take those. And I think we can delete a lot of this other stuff. Where is our bottleneck here? I'd say we are probably out of bauxite. Yep. Okay. So we'll fill that up. And are we out of coal? Not bad on coal. And copper we're doing okay so really it's the bauxite okay can you not switch these on the fly now there we go wrong button dan hello welcome in good to see you yeah, you don't want to log out in the moth. If the moth is over the uh, the void, that would be bad. Anything else in here? I guess I can just turf those. That I'll get rid of. And I need a place to put all of this aluminum. I think maybe we'll put it down here. Extra rubber. It's a neat trick if you're looking to add more storage bins. You can uh, stack them on top of each other when you put in a foundation. And get rid of that and then you can sort of make it look like it's got a purpose. Sort of looks like a storage area. My trip media with the 100 bits and the lurk. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Always good to see you. Hope things are well. All right. I wanted to get, I'll do coal while I'm standing here. Uh, 
So we'll just make sure this keeps on trucking in the background. Oh, I forgot to take my gas with me. Oh, that was already here. Whoops. All right, so there's lots of coal here now. Good to remember. So that's feeling pretty solid. I uh, I need to add more uh, orange to it, I think. More lights. And while I'm here, I'll grab a little bit more fuel. This will help this go in the background. Realizing we're just sort of scrapping a lot of this. So it's not really the most efficient. I have a little bit of wood and leaves on me, or I did. Just realized that we could upgrade that too. If we had more smelters inside, we could increase the production there. Hello, that'll help. I'm gonna delete this. I don't think we need this anymore. I need to find a better spot for the space elevator too. I feel like that's kind of in the way. Something a little bit more central maybe. Maybe we can put it on top of that rock or this rock. That rock would be cool. You can fly all over the entire biome with the right jump. Okay, we should be good. And this stuff just ends up being... Some of it gets sunk. care about these go from there and I remember I was short on crystal Am I short on anything else plates it look like the thing is you don't notice when you run out now because it pulls from the dimensional depot which is great but it's weird when you're light on the basics I don't even know if I need screws, you know? Do we, we've got screws in the depot. Yeah. Couple of inventory slots I don't need to worry about. those on me. Yeah, I've gone from holding uh, a stack or two stacks of everything to like one stack of everything now. Because of the depot, it does help.
What did we need to finish off tier seven? So it's just the 50 gas masks, which needs 100 fabric, 400 coal, and 200 plates. 100 fabric. I feel like I've got mycelia here that we could use. Can't use that anymore. Fabric is mycelia and biomass, but I can make biomass out of mycelia. So that's one and five, so I need 500 biomass. Probably knock this out quickly. What did I say? 400 coal? I never really got into like mass producing fabric or any of the weapons or ammo and stuff in the game. It was just never something that I attempted to do. I You don't really need to, I guess. I guess you really don't have to if you've got things on passive or um, retaliation as far as the environment goes. Yeah, you really don't need to. All right, uh, coal in here maybe? Not enough. I know where I've got more. I've sort of started to spread the... Uh, one, two, three, four. Started to spread the... Um, storage around. It's not all in one spot anymore. We've got a couple bins here, a couple bins across the way. Sort of starts to feel like Minecraft after a while. Uh, here we want gas filters. Oh, it takes two. Never mind. We won't be able to knock this out quickly. I'll have to get more mycelia. Where would be a good place to... I guess any cave. Because mycelia is the best way to get fabric. Because you get biomass and the mycelia for the fabric. We are 33 short. Plus I want some for myself. of those and oh it's only 50 never mind we're good milestone reached the hazmat suit protects the wearer from radiation by consuming iodine infused filters you may find this protection essential if you are going to finally get around to saving humanity. Mm -hmm. I previously gave you compliments in an attempt to inspire you, but it might have given you the wrong idea. I will definitely be totally honest with you from this moment on. Here is a demonstration of a truthful compliment. That suit looks like it was made for you. Because it was. That's okay. That's good to know, Ada. Good to know. Uh, I need to save the game. Uh, seven complete. Super fast. Subscribing at tier one. Five months. Currently on a five month streak. Thanks so much, super fast. Uh, did you know, super fast, that you can redeem the Discord Nitro? For one month, no, three months. Is it three, three months of Discord Nitro with that sub. Uh, if you do bang Nitro in chat, you'll get a link that should walk you through how to do it. Uh, that's also true of gift subs. 
Joel, Cosmic has left you a list of things to remember whilst they or Sandy aren't around. Actually, it's less of a list and more just a scrap of paper with the words, take breaks, make things pink, written and underlined three times in pink pen. <laughs> Co Cosmic, thank you very much for the 200 bits and, and the uh, stream sticker. That's hilarious. Take breaks, make things pink. Uh, I'll skip uh, the first night break because it's only we've only been going for 15 minutes, but I'll, I'll go on the next time. That's hilarious. I, Cosmic, I, I know you're lurking and possibly listening, but like you are really good at the claptrap text-to-speech stickers. Like it, re it really sounds like something claptrap would say. I hope I wrote it down. That's what this is for, right? I can't underline anything. So I don't need to check the coal. Don't need those anymore. Do we need 100 AI limiters still? Or did I no, I unlocked those. We've got to finish. Sun Stricker, that's the main thing. I should probably give that an underline or a second line. Ah, doesn't stick out as much there. Okay. Um, so that's good. That's all taken care of. I don't think there's anything else in here we need to do. We should probably make those again in the background. What are those? Those are pipes, wire, I think. I thought I had more of those. Maybe I spent them all. We can do that here. Instead of crystal oscillators, let's do wire, pipe, and reanimated SAM. My failed attempts at wanting to be a writer at least one point in my life are benefiting my ability to speak through Claptrap. <laughs> well played. Maybe I should wait and do this when we lose the light. That's probably a good idea too. I need more of these around. This being the only one is a little tricky. And the other one was this bin. We can choose whatever bin we want. What's in here? Nothing. So that's going to be making those. So pipes, wire. Thankfully, we got all this right here. Maybe we won't take all of it. Pipes. 
And what I should do is use the summer sloop for that. Get more out of this if we can. Your pipe 75, 125, and 150. do is do the reanimated Sam. For that, we have to make a run. It'll be really fun to eventually have Sam set up as like a permanent factory as opposed to something we have to run and get all the time. I don't know if I even need, really, really need this anymore. This dimensional depot be good to actually have this for something else. Maybe we'll take advantage of the nighttime when it comes and use it to add some lights to Sunstreaker. Now, I'm not going to be able to put all of these in one bin. You are full of those. So let's do... Something really ugly and temporary. What a mess. That's fine. So one of the things I want to work on with Sunstreaker is the interior lighting. And since we're losing the sunlight now, it's a really good opportunity to figure out what this looks like at night. We do have windows in the back, which is good. However, this is not going to be here. I think we have to change the location of that. So I'm, I'm wanting to store computers, circuit boards, and plastic here. So I need at least three bins. And I think I'd rather have them face the other way. What I was thinking here with the door is that we could open up the door and just click on the bin, right? And we could just put the sign above it as to what we have. Which I think is kind of cool. So it hides the whole thing. Uh, and we have the room there for it. Along here. But it means that we should probably keep this open. And I haven't decided if I want to keep... This is the bottom part. I guess it looks okay. It's actually not bad. We might want to do that here too. So we've got some lighting here. It's not very much. I also think some lighting above the door would be good. But this definitely needs something. Uh, now, essentially, I wanted to keep... I was thinking about having this be an opening. So we could have this be maybe a gate wall. We've used those other places, too.
I just don't know if that's essential anymore. Because this is the part that's all filled up. It's the main area. And this could actually be... Some of this could be changed to be like that black thing that's echoed above. Right? I don't want to change that. So maybe we can keep this blue and make this black. But then I don't know. I feel like this is going to be resist panels. So that's going to be tricky for that. And I'm going to have to probably delete the, um, the foundation to make things look good. Unless I can recess a um a beam does not look like it i guess i could delete this one instead Oh, that's from that. Right. That looks like the middle to me. beam shows up but it fights we're not going to use it like that what I want to do is apply some signs how many do we got here we got four that was 40 meters I think two three four we just put one in the middle of each foundation That's too big. Don't think I need that. Portrait sign, display sign. So it's fighting between the beam annoying wait a minute once I place one I should be able to connect others. I feel like that looks okay, and that looks like it's in the middle. And if I delete every other one, we should be okay. That one stays, this one goes. Uh, that's not right. We'll have to do a little... Hmm. Is that in the middle? Yeah, okay. That's what I want. I want them in front of each centerpiece. So there's that one there. That's not quite right. Mm 
that's not right either. See, for some reason down here, the beam is letting us snap no problem. And then, for lighting, I thought we'd have to come up with a new color. I think orange light is probably going to be the thing. So we need to come up with a new one. Good morning, Alistair, too. Hello. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Have a good afternoon. Give everyone's best to your dad. So, three, Matt. Um, select the color. So this is the one. I have an orange. Fortunately, the UI sucks. The difference is that it's probably going to be a little bit too bright. I mean, obviously the sun is coming out now. You know, that's not terrible. I don't know whether glossy makes a difference or not. I think matte was better. Got a good glow on it. Uh, Joel, I just hit the jetpack tier and my factories are way less organized than yours. Any tips for cooking spaghetti? Um, yes, use the straight belt method and you want to work backwards. So like I plan this whole factory down here based on these three inputs, right? So if I knew I was making computers, I knew I needed these three ingredients and then I backtracked from there. So that's how everything from here kind of points down and into the middle and goes this way. And everything from here kind of points down and into the middle and comes this way. So I find that having an end end goal, an end platform, is usually pretty good. P1, hello, welcome in. So I'm going to keep this color. I'm just wondering if there's a way... Whether it's better to go like pure on this. It's like it takes a while to warm up. It's really orange when you first look at it and then it gradually changes. Sometimes if you want like a a real orange light, but you want it to be like a deep, deep color, you got to go down like around 10. And then when you back up, it actually looks orange as opposed to white. But I think we kind of want them to look like lights rather than like too orange, so... I think we're okay with Sunstreak or Orange. Maybe we'll just go 100% on the saturation. And I'll save this as Orange Light. I'm curious what I put on the light switch up here. Just, they don't give you the third setting, it's just 98. So maybe I'll just do the same thing. 15 and 98. Now those are meant to be lights, so they look a little bit better.
All right. We'll just do 98. Cool. So then I can just copy that and then paste this down the line. And I think we can just get rid of the beam now. I don't think I like it. I think we can remove that. That looks intentional. And then I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And honestly, I'm just going to, for the sake of quick... Quick lining things up. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna grab another big sign. Kind of use them as like puzzle pieces to line them up with one another. And that is in the middle. kind of like where you want it here. Maybe what I should do is line them all up along here. Just use the front edge. Well, that's easier. Big brain. Big brain ideas. Except for when you misclick. all these there now together that should really look like intentional lighting yeah like it I'm in I'm on board I guess we'll need another row down here. And then this will have to be lit up on its own. This, unfortunately, these guys, they clip through. So I might have to make a smaller hallway here. Or this has to maybe just get bumped over. Like maybe there's a third window here. And then we do the storage. Uh, but I think it would probably be best to have a walkway down here. So we'll probably do these lights again. I am honestly just going to use that billboard to get us all the way over here.
And it's probably the easiest thing to do is just grab the billboard and try to have it attached this way, right? Can I do that? Not letting me rotate it on the ceiling. Um, what's got a bigger... No, it's not it either. Sorry. Again, a, a lot of building and rebuilding. Oops. And then we just line them up with the downspout stuff. Now the question here is, do we go with The, um, oh, there's only three there. Interesting. Do we only do three lights here? Or do we line them up with the other lights? I feel like we should line them up with the other ones. first one would be in the same space now here what I can do is just paste I don't know copy this paste that however I think I have a blue light already wish they were in alphabetical order Now, do we like the combo, or do we stick with orange? Or maybe I'm making them all blue. Now, what's the difference? This one feels brighter. So it's a 1 instead of a 98. I wonder if that's a difference. Maybe it's just because it's closer to white. I think the 98 was better for this one. Uh, half a space will fill the fill the space with uh, Twitter. Um, sorry. Pillar or beam? I'm not sure. I might have missed what we were looking at when we were talking about. I know about half nudging. It's just a matter of whether it looks good or not. I think I'm okay with the multiple colors for now. I may switch this all to blue. Uh, but the next thing to tackle is how we want the storage to go here. I don't think I want... Um, I don't think I want this sticking out like that. So maybe we only go with one bin of each. I could fit all three bins down here. We could do three... Three doors. Oh, wait a minute. These things are longer than a foundation, aren't they? How long are these things? Uh, we'd have to space them out. That's annoying. Hmm. 
Hmm. Could do them that way. Then we'd have to just add more onto the back. Maybe this has just an angle to it. Maybe we can take this down by two on the back rather than just one. That might be the easiest solution. And then I could put them up here, which would be more convenient. sort of works. That's a big bin. It's okay. I prefer the look of the side, but it's not essential. I mean, I could do it that way too. But then we'd have to figure out what's happening in this space here. Because this would overlap, I think. Well, I guess I could hide it. It doesn't have to be... It would be cool if it was the middle, of course. I mean, that does look pretty cool. We just have to hide this part. And we would not be able to get two next to each other. Which is annoying. The hitboxes on these things are too big. Uh, it's probably going to be simplest just to do it the other way around. KO Extreme, hello, welcome in. I'm doing well, thank you. Doing well. We're just trying to figure out our storage situation for the computers, circuit boards, and plastic. Why is that up in the air? I mean, this is the back of the building. It can have asymmetry to it, I guess. So these could be our, our bins for storage. The splitters would fit on top, I think. So we could actually save a little bit of space here. Rather than having splitters on the back, we could have the line go across the top here. So that could be fun. And we could have several lines go across the top here, actually. We could probably have two. They have two lanes easily. So let's go with these for now. Now that should fit without any problems. Three, four, five, six. I don't know if that's where I should put them. Is that where I had them? I think that's right. I 
So what we would do is have probably plastic in the back. And then computers and circuit boards in the front. No, I have to do plastic here. So we'll run plastic all the way to the end. Now, if I put a, just need to do a splitter. Does it need to be, I don't think it needs to be a smart splitter. I guess it's the only one. Oops. The old window bonk. It's bound to happen sooner or later. Now, should, this should snap, right? Here we go. I can always replace that later. Now, does that come out the top? No. Okay, perfect. And does it stick out the side here with the walls? It doesn't. We may want to see it, but at the moment, not a big deal. It may be fun to have like a window into there, just to see stuff moving on a belt, have a light in there or something. Oh, that's going to be... Well, that won't be all the way to there. This will only go to the next... The next thing. Bonk again. I may have to have three lanes here. Although... These could both be smart splitters and we should be fine. So then uh, we would just take this belt at the moment and just attach it to this line. Now we could, I'm going to have to revisit this at some point because we're going to have to move things around. Let's remove that and we'll just put this on the other side. One, two. The smart splitter for overflow is already over here at the moment for plastic. That's where that's going to go. Uh, is that fast enough? I guess it's fast enough. So that's plastic being stored, which it was not before. It's not at our home base, but it's close enough. Can also get rid of this. Oh, wait a minute. That's not connected.
No, this needs a belt. Because of the nudging. There we go. Tricky, but it keeps it tight. So that's happening. And then we just need... What's happening here? This is circuit boards and eventually computers are coming in through here, but their overflow splitter is down here. So what we need to do is probably have a single line going down this way. we'll do circuit boards here and that's gonna stay computer colored and I can move these and so the smart splitter here we could probably replace with a programmable splitter Either way, it's going to move. And so will the awesome sink. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. This is going to go back to being a door or a wall, rather. So then this just needs to go into a lift. I think it's four. No, it's five, I guess. Six, six spaces. Everything in this game is bigger. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that because uh, we have to have, this has to start there. So I was right in that the splitter had to move. It just has to move over here. And then this. Uh, that may not work. Do just the regular snapping on this. Yeah, it doesn't stick out that far anyway. Um, so then that will connect to a merger up here, which I guess I could do that last. This will continue down to here. And then this gets connected. What is that? That is circuit boards. And so circuit boards forward overflow and then none I think at least for now uh, so technically we can just zip this into there and so this will receive computers from down here yeah okay just need to add the filter on the back here now this is gonna need 
Is there any good guide about block and path signals for Satisfactory? Yes, uh, check out Total Eclipse, Total X Eclipse on YouTube and a good, like search for that plus the word trains. You can also do bang SF creators in my chat. You'll get a list of Satisfactory creators. Uh, it's Bits is also very good. Uh, so is I'm Kibitz at, at explaining Rails. Um, but the easiest thing for block signals and path signals is putting a path signal on the way into an intersection and a block signal on the way out. And the way that I've done my trains in terms of block signals along a straight path is they're about as long as the longest train. So a train can have eight cars and two locomotives. That's kind of where you want to be. Anything longer than that, you're going to run into issues. Anything longer than that, you're going to want to have more than one train. You'd be better off to have two six car trains rather than one 12 car train, if that makes sense. Um, but this length here is 24 foundations. Uh, and that's about the length of an eight uh, or a 10 car max train. So I didn't put block signals here. I could have, but it, it, it seems unnecessary. And what that does is just means that um, if I go over there and grab a block signal, you can see the different block colors. So see how they change to purple at the end there? And they change to green and white here. Just means that if there's a train in this section and, and another train wants to come behind it, all it has to do is wait for it to exit the green before it can follow. If this was all one block all the way around the corner, then there would be a train sitting at the station waiting for the train to completely leave the biome before it would start, and you don't want that. Does that, does that help? Does that make sense? There's no in-game real explanation for blocks and stuff. I really wish there was one. I think part of what they do is try to encourage, you know, community knowledge sharing. Uh, but it doesn't always doesn't always lead for the most um, clear, I guess, strategies. But really, path signal on the way in because paths mean that two trains can cross through a path as long as they're not going to collide. But block signals will stop a train from going through. Think about think about block signals like a stop sign in regular traffic, and path signals like a yield sign so path signals for like a roundabout and and um block signals or stop signals or like stoplights hopefully that makes sense i was gonna add something in here right smart splitter down here So this is just going to be straight up circuit boards and none. I probably don't even need to do this, but it's fine. Do the same thing here. Computers, and this will be, uh, hmm, maybe this can just be, actually I only need the one of these, don't I? So I could put circuit boards here, send circuit board straight, computers right, and then that's it. And then I only need this for the, I don't even really need this. We could probably... Just do a curve here. Yeah, easy breezy. I forgot about the, the dual um, output on 
Or the triple oak would really. That's all yellow. Good, good, good. And so that means that that's I do need that there. That's that's good. Uh, then the extra computers are coming this way, and they're going into here. And what they need to do is go in above. And then, I guess the overflow? I'm going to have to readjust this at some point anyway. Overflow, computers. So this is going to have to get fixed because this is not staying like this. Uh, and then this will just actually come out at a different spot. That'll be good enough for now. Um, computers. And then, right now, what's this doing? Computer, none, and overflow is left. That's right, but I guess we're just not making anything right now? Because we are out of something. Why are we out of cable? I wonder if I forgot to hook something back up. No ore. Uh, there's no... Oh, I disconnected a power plug somewhere. And now... We don't have any power going to the miners, probably. I imagine it's this guy right here. Yep. That's cool. That is... This one right there, I think. This is where things got really tricky with clipping. Yeah. Okay, so that goes there. So this is going to get connected to the control room, which is just up here. So we've come in and we've gone back up, uh, but we have not gone down. And so we need to go down. down there. Do I need any power down here? I guess I guess we'll just go through the floor. Um it would be cool if I could maybe come down the pillar. That would be easiest to follow, right? Because then we could just take this. We can continue this pillar. I could just grab it from, say, there. Now that might show up on the outside. I don't know. How did I do the other side here? Oh, it's too thick. Okay. Whoa, there's a giant cliff there. Where's McScrew going when you need him? So this is actually going to be out this way. You, where did you come from? Do 
I have a rebar gun on me? I do. I've not tried the, um, the new ammo. Oh, we've never actually looked at this before. Cool. The animations are pretty cool. I guess he's just not going to engage despite the fact that we have retaliation on? I felt kind of bad. So we'll come down through here. I wish they gave you the ability to make um, those double power bits, uh, these. I wish you could do those through the floors. That would be very, very cool and helpful. Uh, did that turn on the miners is the question. Yes. Word Nerdify, hello, M. Good to see you. Hope things are well. We're just hooking up our storage and flying around like a crazy person here. So that's that's not the right color. Why are these different colors? This must be a mat. Maybe this was this one. That's what it is. It's a mat. Okay. I do like the mat better. All right. So that. I guess that's obvious enough. So we've got plastic. Put signs out here, maybe. Oh, I've removed. Do we want to? Do we want to see this? It's just going to be a row of plastic. I don't know if we necessarily need that. Because one of the things I could do would be put down a sign. I don't know about a two-meter sign. Feel like the small sign is probably okay. This might be an opportunity to have a door actually going someplace. Maybe I'll leave that open for now. And I guess I'll have to go up and look at the colors for... I like the colors we did for the electrical sign. These are five meters. These are smaller. 
95, 98, and 9. So that's the Sunstreaker, and this is just the Caution Yellow, I think. So I think we'll do Caution Yellow as a background. We'll try this to see what it looks like. Oh, it's far too bright. That's annoying. They look so much better when they're not lit. I wish we could change... I wish this had a dial on it, like the um, the other stuff, you know? Because now what we got to do to make this look duller is come in here and go at like 50% on each of these. And it doesn't always work. Maybe we'll go with 30. And it gets muddy, so it gets really twisty, very finicky. Spent a few hours building yesterday, and gosh, I cannot get away from the buildings just looking so boxy. I was trying to channel a bit of you yesterday and selling it up with a box. That, yeah, it's tough. I think the first thing you need to do to get out of the box um, mentality is start nudging stuff around. It gets complicated, so you got to give yourself enough room. Man, that doesn't look good at all. Maybe we'll switch these. That's okay. Maybe we should go red instead. Very bright. And go with that for now. This is circuit boards. And this is computers. And actually, while we're here, maybe we can take a crack at this piece. It would be cool. Oh, did I change that? I probably changed that. What I was thinking is if we do a custom color here, so I need to like, I wish I could save this whole thing, but I can't. Um, what is this? These are default. Okay. So let's go default and then Grab this color. And then grab this color. So the secondary sh color shows up on the door. And then for just these, we can go red. I think works and then I'll take this back I have a pure black oh no 
was orange. And then that. Okay. Ah, it's working. Are we getting them in? Are they not hooked up? 13. Cool. I don't know how many were in here before. I'm not seeing any extra circuit boards, but they're still they're still not backed up. Oh, there's a they're away from backing up, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think I think getting outside the boxes is like adding extra stuff you don't need. Like there's nothing in these; these are just empty nothingness. And so, by adding stuff you don't need and layering walls on top of stuff, can really help. I was playing around with some panels and stuff on this. I don't think these are going to be solid black. I think we need to change that a little bit. Okay, so this probably is going to be here. I'm thinking what's going to happen is we'll go... Probably down another step. That's gonna look a little bit funny in here, so we may have to go with another wall here. Angle's ruse help too. Yes, time for a break. And I hear the train, so we can grab that. So I take a break about once an hour, folks. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I just step away to reheat my coffee. Grab a stretch, maybe even tell a friend about the stream. We're always trying to increase the viewers and you get to ride the brake train. So I will be back in five or seven minutes.
I would jump out right now, but I feel like that would be a bad idea. I feel like that would be more of a hassle <laughs> than it's probably worth. Uh, so I'm going to wait till we're over safer ground. And then I'll turn around. Man, the slugs are a lot easier to see at night, aren't they? Mental note to go hiding, you know, hunting for that kind of stuff at night. Thanks, Dan. While we're out here and walking back, we might as well look for some summer sloops. I feel like we have all the ones in this area, but you never know. I think we did a pretty wide berth looking for everything. There may be caves that I'm not remembering. Pretty sure we got them all. At least out this way. Sometimes I hide in the edges. Limestone. Cool. And we're back. So I imagine this will probably just be more of the same. Now this is potentially a stairwell. I have to think about that. Uh, this is just a great big empty space for nothing. I don't know what we're going to put here. I do feel like we may want to leave this part open. So I feel like we may want to continue the beam. Feels like a finished thought. Now, do we need lights along here? I don't know. Feel like probably yes. So we'll do that. How do you get the fourth oil uncovered where you have the plastic? Um, uncovered? What do you mean? I think we'll just line them up with the other lights.
Is that right? No. It's gonna be over here. So even though these aren't functional, I feel like they add a lot. And they will if I take a screenshot with Lumen, so it's that too. I'm not sure whether to make this a door or just have it be where the hallway turns. I think I want to do like a nudge here. We could have this hallway be a lot narrower. I wanted to double up on that beam. I feel like we could totally do that if I wanted to. Then like it just sort of ends here. Maybe we'd back it up by one. And that sort of feels like it cuts it off from the light from the rest of the room. And that might look weird in here, too. Yeah, I think maybe we'll do windows over, over this. Plus, it adds reflection, which is nice. Oh, I've got to do the windows last. Whoops. that works it's got rocks over it tried blowing it up hmm if it's got rocks over it then you should be able to blow it up unless it's something you can mine is it like is it like a whatchamacallit like one of these nodes on the outside of a iron mine or something like one of those have you tried just chipping at it it should be something you can blow up. Is it a bug? Maybe? The oil one near plastic. Then it doesn't narrow it down, man. There's four nodes out there. Four oil nodes out where I'm making plastic. It should be just something you blow up. It should be accessible. It's not, I mean, if it's not accessible, then it's a bug. Yeah. I don't know if we're sticking with the blue, we might switch back to orange, but for now, I'm feeling better about the completion of this. This feels very plain. I wonder if we could put some, maybe some signs or storage or something. So this stays open. Guess we'll do the same plastic coated in here. I wonder if there's any pattern that I could put down that would make sense here. I feel like they're all very central. Yeah. 
Yes. That sort of helps. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. I wonder if these could be like a total Might help when you open up the door. A little bit. That's kind of fun. I was thinking that or we could put a beam down here to hide that. That could be interesting too. Maybe a red beam. I think that's kind of fun. And I guess if we leave this open, I'll have to wall that off. But that would not be difficult. We need to. And that should line up with a wall hole. If I want to. Ah, but that would then go up into the top floor, which I may not want. That would put like a little yellow line up there. Right, so I may not want to do that. Oh, that would too. All right, well, that just, we may just not have this open at all. Not crazy about this on the floor, so we're probably gonna have to revisit that and think about how we're gonna move that around. Um, I do like the idea of using the beams on the edges. We did it up here. Two and then one. And that is like a half step over from the edge. Now here, we would probably line it right up with that. That. Oh, because this is all. But then that doesn't go there because it doesn't fit. So this would have to be one of the small ones. That is real tight. Hmm. 
I may not like that. It sort of works. Hmm. We'll leave it for now. Feels a little bit more like a complete thought anyway. I like the end. I like the cap. And did I do... Right, I didn't do the... The... Things over here because I did this red bit. I'm wondering if the glass is better than the red stripe. Or maybe this whole thing has to be red. The reason I bring it up is because um, Sunstreaker has got some red in him. It's not a lot. Little bits here and there. So the only messy parts now are this area here, which I'm not a big fan of, and obviously this is still a problem. And we need to find a better spot to have the awesome sink. I might have this as like a separate outbuilding. That might be a better way to do that. And I also want to get a final design on these and how that looks. I do like the way that it looks from inside. I like all the blue and I like this. I think this is a cool view. Obviously, we need to change the color on those. And I need to change how everything's being moved around. I really feel like this might look better if we turned these facing us. It would hide more of the window. That's the only thing. We'd have to put them pretty far off to the side. But that would give us enough room to split things and move stuff around. What do you think about the fact that the customization painting costs no resources? I was thinking about that last night and curious on your thoughts. It used to. You used to have to run around and collect flower petals and then process the flower petals into paint canisters and then use those. And it was fine. It just it added one more thing that you had to do, but. Um, you're talking about the West Coast crude oil node. Looks like a nitrogen node with the ground and the cracks. Oh. If it's one of those, then it's, it's tier eight. If it's a... If it's a crude oil node that has um, like a pattern, I'm not sure how to explain it. Hold on. Pressurized nodes? How do I look that up? Mm. Resource well pressurizer, you need one of those. Uh, that's a tier 8 advanced aluminum production. And that's what it is. It looks like it's got an oil node in the middle and then it goes out into like a, a star. That's what it is. I didn't realize there was one out there. Sorry. Sorry, Dan. I thought there was just the four resource nodes for oil. I didn't realize there was a fifth. Yeah, you can pressurize water, gas, a bunch of other stuff too. Oh, do I want to attempt to unhook these and see what they look like if they're twisted around? We have everything coming down the center, and I like that. And then we could split it up and not have to go this vertical with it, which would be nice. 
We have to have separate lines because otherwise the sushi belt will back up. Because things are coming in at different rates. I feel like this was... Yeah, there's a glitch going on here somewhere. This feels kind of flimsy, so I might want to do something beefier with that too. Also, I'm not entirely sure about this being open to the air. Honestly, this could probably be a different angle. Time to switch, I think. Yeah, it does feel like it's very heavy with a very light sort of thing, just because you can't see this. Looks okay from down here. Yeah, but sometimes this feels very flimsy. I still fall victim to building... Um, to building stuff with... Well, like just these 0.5 meter walls when I should be doing a lot more depth. I wonder if this could be thinner. If I turn that into like a half concrete foundation, then it's gonna be really hard to wrap stuff around too. What I'd like to do for this is have the lights in here, and there's three lights on his on his cheeks, so to speak. So we got big light in here, and then three lights in his cheeks. So I feel like this would be a good spot for those, right? Got um, nine. I feel like that's probably a pretty good idea there. And I might be able to fill that with one billboard. How big is a billboard? Oh, that totally fits. Almost. That would do it. Just to place it on the right thing.
then we can make those whatever colors we wanted. I wonder what a I wonder what a gradient would look like. Background, background. Well, that's kind of cool. And then on top of that, we could make that whatever color we wanted. Or whatever shape we wanted. As long as it looks good from inside. We'll have to cover it up a little bit. Uh, we probably could have moved that a little bit farther forward, too. Not the end of the world. We'll try it on another one, see which one looks better. I like the fact that we can change the shape here, though. That looks fun. Wish there was a way to do half walls. But I guess we could make this one small on its own down here. Man, the gradients are really cool effect. What's the other one that I could do? Linear or sideways? And if I change the background, what if I change this to like red or something? I like that. Oh, no. I thought I had a red save. Maybe I don't. So it's just those two colors. That's pretty cool, and then maybe I can do something else up here. Oh, that's a shadow. I was like, "Why? what's this pattern? But it's a shadow from something else. And I liked this, and I'm wondering if we change this to, like, carbon steel? Or what's this one? Feel like it shows up a little bit more. Increases the shiny a little bit.
So using triangles is a good way to get patterns kind of like inlaid into what you might want. They can, they can maybe make that lower. Not crazy about that, but it, it needs something because otherwise the black is just so matte. You can't really see what's going on. So taking some creative liberties. We need something along here. And obviously this does not meet the corner. So yeah, I want the I think I want the sign to come forward a little bit. And other than that though, I think it's okay. Be nice to have a line here. Can't really put things on angles. I could just maybe add some depth. I kind of want that to wrap around, but at the same time, I don't want to disturb the contrast, but I think that's okay. It's pretty fun. I think I'm okay with that just ending like that. I feel like we want more happening down here. Of course, that goes right into inside, right? I almost want that to be black, but then we'd have to do that down here too. Uh, and then the top of his head has like this vertical light and we could probably just do that with um, some a combination of several lights. And I didn't really do anything with his cheek shape. But what I was thinking was up here, we could have I guess more of these. then have a vertical light so we'd have a really large light and probably like this Probably have to come up with some sort of vertical beam for that. And then we could use probably another one of these. That sort of has to be there, because we don't have any foundations that will 
cover that space. And I'm not crazy about that being black. I guess we could just make this as matte as possible. Have it fade into the distance as best we can. Uh, oh, that cut. The, the matte and the shiny really do make a difference. I need to go copy those lights. Make my life a little bit easier. You can probably do a gradient on these as well, but this will get us most of the way there. Oh, I didn't do it right. Crap. Maybe these aren't the right ones. So that goes the other way. So we'll do red here and then orange down here. Flip it upside down. Doesn't really do the same. Yeah, it's not, it's not nearly the same as the billboard, is it? That's too bad. Yeah, that does nothing. Why is that doing nothing? Let's try that again. Just grab some random colors first just to see. Yeah, that's not really working, is it? Bali, hello. How's it going? Okay, so the darker colors work. I guess it's just meant to be a very, very subtle gradient, so maybe we just won't do one on here. Oh, 
Not the same orange, though. One ninety five. My brightness is three down here. Okay, maybe the billboards are just different lighting. Probably say we go with that. I don't know whether we need to do more than that. Maybe we need a beam in here. I'm alright with that. I kind of want this to go down, maybe. I may have to make this lighter again. Oh, that was covering up that. Um, that's okay, we can make this a full... Full block like that. Oh, but then that doesn't line up. Crap. So hard black stuff. What do I do on this side? One of those. Just put the youngest to bed, says Bally. Now babysitting while the girlfriend steps on her outside doing the games um, with the group. Very cool. Team effort. Some people that have been concerned about like having um, flat roofs, sometimes if your roof is flat, um, one of the easiest things you can do is just put like a border on it. So sometimes just doing something like this will make a flat roof look at least okay. I don't like the shape that it finishes with, but if you're dealing with something like a big building like that, sometimes a flat roof with a, a railing on it looks good. can't really see. I'm struggling with whether I want to make this brighter, you know? Definitely more detail. I think we need just a little bit more contrast with it. But in the shadow, like, you really don't get to see much. Not the best time of day 
for this, you kind of want to be on like a certain side of the building. Plus, that's really matte. What if we made this shiny? You certainly see the details in direct sunlight. No, I think maybe unpainted. Oh, that's so bright. I'll have to wait for the front until the sun's on this side of the building. I could lower that if I really wanted to. So I think we probably need to do the lights on both sides. Now why are they upside down? not going to matter, but still. So I do like these, but I need to figure out a way to make them feel sturdier from the inside I think I might have to lower this but I don't want to I don't want to sacrifice this shape I really like what's going on there it's like I don't want to bring this down right I don't want to do this because then it sort of breaks up that cool shape Probably has to wrap around too. I think maybe I ditch this and lower this. And 
And I think... I think I just need to figure out what's happening in there. Maybe this whole thing would look better if this wasn't open. Right? Like if this was closed off. That could look a lot better. And it's getting dark. That helps with the solid feeling of it, of it but then it removes this cool shape that we had here. Like it, that cool triangle, it just takes it right out of it, right? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to jump on a brake train. So let me grab one of those. Edit the timetable. We'll go to uh, Wheeljack and Mirage. Cool. Once an hour, folks, I take a short break. It is that time. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
a little longer than expected, but it turned out well because we're in the right spot. And while I'm here, I want to go check to see how many of these um, fluctuators we've made. I don't know why I never use that door. Where do I put them in here? No, here. Yes. Wow. Okay. All right. How many Mercer spheres do we have? Oop, that's not the right thing. Uh, Mercer sphere. We've got three, and I think each upgrade needs seven. Alien technology. Yeah, seven. Ooh. I'm not so worried about the speed. It's the stack increase. Seven, seven. No, seven, thirteen. Wow. Seven, thirteen, and twenty-three. So that's twenty. Forty-three Mercer spheres. Fears. Yikes. Uh, Wormbo, you picked up the game? That's awesome. Once upon a time, I used to have a, um, Epic Games code, but they stopped doing the creator program. You bought this game, and now I'm on my way to build a space elevator. I think I've managed to tie my spaghetti into a Gordian knot. <laughs> yeah, the, the first couple tiers are rough. Uh, there are VODs on Joel Duggan VODs if you want to go check out the uh, the way that I approach it early game. Uh, I will tell you right now, something that will make your life a lot easier. Go looking for summer sloops. These are the guys, the S things. And unlock the multiplier in the MAM. And then use that to build your space elevator parts, you will double or quadruple your output. So you want this right here. The power amplifier, production amplifier. You want that. It's under alien technology. So for the same amount of stuff going in, you get double or more the products out. It's uh, much, 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 much nicer. You'll be able to get through the space elevator stuff way, way easier. All right, daylight from a distance. What do we think? Now it really looks like a cat. <laughs> it's got whiskers. Not sure I'm a fan. There's something here. Oh, it's a slug. <laughs> I like the details. I think those work. Uh, maybe not that section. Not sure about the lights. I think I like the top part though.
Even in broad daylight, it's dark. It's the only thing. I wonder if it would be better to put, like, one more light. I'm going to take this all the way up. That's pretty good. Honestly, this could be carbon steel. Would solve a little bit of a problem there too. I could just wrap it around square. It's a little simple. Also, trying not to get run over by trains is a good start. Maybe we do come down on the front. Crap. Yeah, I feel that it looks a little bit more spacey. And what was the other thing I wanted to change over here? Right, this. Now, does that look good inside? Is a question? Can't see it. Okay. That could probably be black instead. more interesting shape. Looks less like whiskers too, which is good. Don't know what we could do to cover that up, but I think we're kind of stuck with it. Unless I use one of these.
No. Now, I don't think I want to continue this around. Mainly because it's going to be very difficult to line up. Okay. It makes this a little bit on the plain side, but it's not the end of the world. We could probably just put some lights over here. I really don't know. I guess it would be cool to have something on it from this end, right? That or we bring this down to fill up some of that space. I guess at that point we don't need these. Maybe three of those? Yeah, maybe. Oh, again, it's a shadow. I thought it was a I thought it was a texture glitch. I think that's pretty solid. So we added another one over here. So then inside, what can we do about this? Because this is hot garbage. So let's get rid of that. And I guess we have to go with maybe at the very least an angled black foundation.
I like the yellow. Not in love with that. don't think we're going to keep that. I think we're going to use... We could probably use this space back here for elevators if we need to. I think that would make the most sense. I may end up switching how this is loaded and unloaded, which would not be a huge, a huge task. I just might put them on the other side. Um... So yeah, that's going to go away. So really it's just a matter of dealing with this plain wall and how we reconcile this section. And really, this is only like this tall because it need, I wanted it to mirror the other side, but I don't know. I don't know that it has to. It might look less like a face if we didn't do this. So if we just brought this straight across then that would mean that this part here could be solid. Hmm. I guess what I really need to do is just toy around with this, moving this machine and see what we could do with this inside now that we've got the space kind of mapped out. I feel like I need to um, figure out what's happening here. We've got two spaces here, but I've only got one space there. I don't know why that is. We've extended it the same. Oh, because these aren't in the middle. One, two, three, four... One, two, three. Yeah, that's the fourth. So why do I have an extra? Oh, because I've covered this up. That's what it is. Okay. So this is still the middle. Um, we'd have to cover this up anyway to do the same sort of signage. That really makes that look boring, doesn't it? It's not my favorite. I wonder what else we could do. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a crack at these because I think the I think the computers are just getting sunk or stored. I don't need two bins of computers. These are all going to be stacking up already. Yeah, so I can actually go up and get some computers. And fill the other bin. I love that we have this many, but and just delete this for now. I don't mind the idea of some stuff happening on the outside, but I don't think this is what I want. So what I was thinking is having the manufacturers face towards me. So let's just shut this guy down. Give us an opportunity to fix this anyway. So if we have them far enough apart, they're not really going to risk doing anything in the windows. I would like to have the back part line up with either that center part there or 
that center part there. That seems a little far apart. And that's going to be in the middle. What do we think? Do they look better this way? Or do you think we look? they look better sideways? I feel like this angle complements what's happening here better. Yeah. And that obviously is going to show up there too. That's the outside. Yeah. Right. Left side looks better? Yeah, I think so too. Um, okay, well then, if we're going to do that then, I need to find a better way to split this up. Because it just I just don't like the way that it looks. So, I think we're going to split them into um, a larger floor display. So, we'll maybe we'll center them on the windows. That does not quite give me six lanes. That's the middle, so we'd have to go... Probably... Hmm. Don't know the best way to do this. I don't want to put, to put stuff under the floor, but it's possible. It's, it's good four meters space if we need to. But what I was thinking was have like one, two, three, four. Six. If this is the middle, yeah, that doesn't give us a lot of space. Also bring them up higher. That would still work. We could do three and three that way. So probably like that. And they don't even have to be splitters. I just uh, usually that's the kind of turn that you need for the lane. So this would be the two lanes here, and then the two lanes on this one. Yeah. So it would be more like this. No, it has to be the other way around. Nice. 
not gonna let me connect to that. And we could always push them back to the other ones if they need more room. And then this would come down like this. Without the height change. And we'd have them that mirrored on the other side. We would do all the... this stuff would happen kind of like here. We'd split everything up as it was. And then... I guess we could have one of them higher than the other. It doesn't really have to be that low. Splitting the middle one and having them both be the same item is going to be interesting, though. Because those are going to be over here. Then the other part, of course, is just how do we get everything out. And this is where we might want to go outside. And it might be cool to have a um, the elevator. Where we had stairs over here, it might be better to use this space as a vertical elevator. So that is the outside. I don't think I'd want this to be cut off. Did I cut it off on the other side? No, I had it open. So could do something similar although this doesn't go into the middle which is too bad I guess if we don't need splitters I could nudge this forward a bit to make sure that this goes into the middle here uh no that's outside that's outside so it has to be here then and this is all just pointless. I just I just want to make it look nice. think we needed it there. Probably there. Nope. These are so big. There's no reason we couldn't cover up part of the machine either. Could totally do that. Man, this is hard to place. Not a perfectionist, yeah, right. <laughs> Famous last words. So that's the right distance. I just don't know if it's the right distance here, because of course this is going to overlap. That's if I want that to be a double wall. 
I don't think I do. What I would more than likely do is put it in an angled wall. Also, probably get this vertical. And so if that's where that's going to go. That does not leave us a ton of room. Might as well just commit and try to mirror the other one. We've got overflow in, in, I guess, in place for everything, except for the cable. Ah, uh, materials. So I want these to line up, and then the ladder is just on the other side there. Of course, that would be too easy. So that works out there pretty well. So then the question here is... Could they be a little closer together? Probably. They really only need like three lanes. Do I want that to be clear? I don't know. I was thinking that it would be cool to have them close enough together that um, these would be touching, but it doesn't have to be that. This certainly gives us a lot more room to split stuff. So for example, we probably want to split the plastic and then have the plastic um, go out in the similar fashion. We could also have all of the overflow go straight through. That's the case too. The plastic's overflowing. Cable is not overflowing. Cable is a precise amount. And the, these are also overflowing. So I could have another two belts in the middle. And that could be plastic and um, circuit boards. So how do we divide this up? Because each one of these is going to need one of these items. I would say the higher one... Like, obviously we could put lifts on this and then the same thing here we could put a splitter it would have to go three ways so a splitter here this would be tricky it's a little tight but not impossible And cable would just happen farther back. So if we split the cable back here,
Right, so that is a regular splitter. And it's going in from the back. So we could hook this up here. So that's our cable. And then this guy. Instead of a smart splitter there, we could put the smart splitter here. And all we would need to do for that is have it come in from behind, which we've got room to do. So this smart splitter would just come in like that. We would have this, this would have to go to a higher support temporarily. Don't like these, but. Weird that that doesn't work like that. So this would just have to come in at the back here. This is already coming in at the back. And, oh, that's gonna have to be cleared. Yeah, that doesn't work unless we offset those. So, this, hmm. That could be, this could be lower, this could be on the ground. Going into the bottom one. Like that. And the middle one will come in from behind. Like this. But then the top one, I still need to get them down to that level. And I don't think I want to do like the slope. I was kind of hoping to do more uh, lifts. Hmm. But because these are all stacked, I don't have the, like I was going to go straight down. I guess I could. No, because they just, they always seem to, they'll always bump into each other. What needs to happen is this needs to go to that. So this has to go to the first one, bottom to the top. And then this top one here, we can then do lift at this stage. And I could probably do like a mini lift. I think there's a way to do that. I think if I connect this, I thought there was a way if you used a conveyor pole. Yeah. That's pretty slick. I think it's pretty tidy. So the only thing that's going to look a little bit weird is just the back. It's a mark one. just goes into a regular splitter. And then this 
splits here. Right? Yeah. Let's go computers. Computers. And then I guess the big difference here is, yeah, trying to get these two things down is going to be a little bit trickier. This one we can drop directly. This one we, it just, it won't work quite as tight. Like it won't be quite as tidy. Which is annoying. I guess I could separate these a little bit more, but then they won't go into here very well. Let's fix this anyway. We can just put this back farther. And actually, that doesn't need to be... This doesn't need to be anything. can probably do one of those little mini lifts. I'm not sure why I'm calling it a mini lift, but now it doesn't seem to want to work. I can see why the guy that I copied this from on YouTube wanted to blueprint this. I had that right the first time. So finicky. How did I do it over here? I can repeat the process. Uh, one, two, three. So. I think I got rid of that pole. It was dumb. Now it's not working. Maybe because there had to be a belt on it?
Why is this not working anymore? It's so inconsistent. Weird. So that's circuit boards. So then these would just have to get from there to there. the belt matters. Why? I know I can do it. Seems to be like selecting the foundation for some reason. I don't know why. That's frustrating. Oh, this is going the wrong way. So there's the circuit boards going in and being split, but what's not happening is the overflow, and that's going to come out of this one. So this one here, coming from the back, circuit boards, and we've got circuit boards, and then we've got overflow. And I have to get that down to one of these, and I just have to decide which way I want it to go. I guess we'll go circuit boards to the left. Not my favorite. I would prefer a different look for that. And we're going to have to do the same thing over here. Now here we could probably get away with a full size one of these. The tricky part, of course, is that it's not going to be far enough away from this to have a proper right turn. So... doesn't matter which way we do it, there's going to be some sort of little zigzag happening. Because this is going to be the same thing. This is going to be... overflow... plastic... And plastic. And we have not hooked up this yet. From 
there. How does that look? I mean, it's cleaner than before. We need some sort of light in here. And unfortunately, this is just going to have to come down at a weird angle. I wish it wasn't going to be so twisty. Last time you hooked on the bottom first? Yeah, I've tried a couple times to do vice versa, and it just doesn't seem to be consistent. just don't know. I mean, it's it's tidier than it was, that's for sure. Wish there was a better way to get things down without having to overlap. I guess I could. There's really not enough room to back this up. I wish I could. Because I would, I would do like a mini one here, right? I gotta get rid of this. I'd have like a little mini one here. that and I would do the shortest possible straight track right so that's nice and tidy we still see the zigzag but then the other one would be even farther out to be out here. And that's not going to work as well. I mean, I could back it up. So it would be even. But like that's not going to be possible. If I nudged it sideways, I still don't think that's going to be the right angle. I don't think this will go into this tightly. No. Because I could do that on both sides, but then that doesn't really work. So the other alternative is to have it out here. Which I don't want to do, I don't think. I mean, that's the straightest, probably. I was hoping to hide that underneath the lip here. I could wrap, wrap things up, Dan, but thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it. I mean, that's cool. I want to blueprint that so it's not so much of a pain in the butt to actually make. You have to make one for each direction, but that's fine. hmm. <laughs> So not bad. Now back here, we'd have to have a belt with mergers on it. Uh, we'd have to have this covered up probably. If I wanted to even do it that way, we'd have to see. 
I might just send it straight into the wall. I might not want to cover up this much of the window. But I do like that. Uh, we should probably at least get a merger here. And do the same thing over here. That's going out. This still needs power. And that just needs to get over there somehow. maybe we want to have some belts at the back maybe that's what we do maybe we just have a triple belt exposed sometimes doing things quickly haphazardly will kind of inspire some ideas yeah I really wish I could tighten this up that's the only thing I guess I could turn this little thing sideways. Turn them both sideways, maybe? Yeah, just unfortunate. Unless... Hmm... I don't know. Just thinking I could put the splitters there. I could nudge it side to side. So I could have this, instead of this being in the middle, I could have it lined up with this belt. And then I could move this one just a little bit to the side. There's enough room there, but I think that would work. So then the splitters would be kind of like offset. And that would probably be the simplest way to get things down to the right level in a clean looking way. And unfortunately, the way that I've done this, we can't really, I can't utilize like a, a wall. Or I could, I just have to nudge it somehow. I don't think I want to. I don't know if that's necessary. It does actually cut off any access we have down here. So really the path is around the back. Yeah, okay. So for now, I can just do mergers. Quick and dirty. And then this probably has to be a bigger belt.
and that'll handle all the overflow. And then this cannot be a sushi belt. I've got that wrong. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, wait a minute. The yeah, I've got the I've got the overflow at the wrong end. So I'll have to put the overflow to the awesome sink down here. The awesome sink will have to be down at this end. That has to have an overflow. Or rather, this one will right here. Unless I want to bump it over and just have three lanes, and then it's not a big deal. Then I could put the awesome sink here, which is more than likely what's going to happen. So, all right. Not running perfectly, but at least not stalled and doing nothing. Uh, I like the look of it better, certainly, than what we had before that with the like the vertical splitters. Opening this up is very nice. Um, I'm just not entirely sure. I like how bland it is here. But that's where we've got that sign, right? Hmm. So an improvement, but certainly not the end. I like what we've done over here. I like this a lot. Uh, these are no longer needed. So that's good. And that could be covered up once we get the actual output here sorted then we'll know how to handle this other side i don't mind the belt going through the back there like that you know it might be good to have a nice big fat um belt like this not that we need it to be that fast but it just could be kind of fun to just have everything scooting along maybe not with those there i'd rather have that happen maybe behind the scenes or they would be maybe in line here that could be something that could work too but yeah this is a little distracting still an improvement over what we had before i may be able to do an angled wall here that could be good too it would mess with the belt but we could figure that out uh, architecture. That might be fun. But then again, that runs into issues at the top there too. It is nice how fast you can do stuff like that. Where is my angled wall? There we go. Good. In contrast. We could have the same sort of thing happen over here. Yeah, I feel like that could work. 
Still not entirely sure I like where these guys are placed. But I think we're going to have to go with that for now. Cool. Uh, well, that's where I'm going to wrap things up, folks. Uh, I will pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. I think we did a fair amount of cool stuff today. Uh, we really did focus on a lot of buildings. So we've got the storage set up now for the plastic, the circuit boards, and the computers. Uh, we rehooked up the power to the smelt to the miners. We were able to revamp the uh, output here and to have it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more fun to see everything moving around at this pace. I like this a lot better. Uh, obviously, we still have the output to sort. We still have the awesome sink to sort out, and the back design is obviously still kind of like expanding to accommodate the changes that we need. I think I might try to have this somehow attached to the building on the inside, but then have the rest of it on the outside and just have it colored like that. I think it could be cool. And we did a lot of really cool work up here. Oh, missed a spot. On these things. I think this is going to be... I don't know why this keeps on changing. But I think that's going to be the design we use for these black things on the side. We just have to do it in triplicate now. Add each at each piece, uh, but I think it adds a lot of cool colors. A lot of the, the Sunstreaker colors are good. Uh, it may be fun to add some orange in here as well. We might change the way that this looks. And uh, this doesn't need to be here because it's just kind of empty space. So we can sort to figure out how to maybe deal with that when the time comes. But uh, I am going to be back again tomorrow. That's Friday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. We'll be back in Satisfactory for sure, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish this up. You can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. You can listen to the Spun Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. Uh, they're both on YouTube. They're both on whatever podcast app you're listening to. You can just actually throw my name into iTunes and, and I come up, uh, or Apple Podcasts, I guess would be the technical term. Uh, do check out the Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support me. It's only two bucks a month, less than a cup of coffee. Keeps me streaming. You get access to the Discord. And uh, it's a lot of fun in there in between streams. Thanks very much to Cosmic Dancer for the bits and the um, the uh, stream sticker. Thanks to Superfast and Mind Trip Media for the support as well today. I really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your satisfactory day. Bye for now.